They asked me to work out with the receivers at the combine. I did not. They said I was a gadget player. When I got the starting job, they said our offense was not sustainable. Six victories later, they said the Chargers had the blueprint for stopping us because I can't throw. Over the summer, they called me a running back playing quarterback. While everybody was doing all that talking, I went to work. Week one, season two, five touchdowns later, boom, perfect quarterback rating. Let's go. Welcome to season two of Ravens Roundup presented by Sip the Tyler Films. I'm Coach Evans, and if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop new uploads. Uh, with that out of the way, let's take a Lamar, let's take a look at Lamar's five touchdowns from Friday. Uh, Prove that a running back can throw. So let's start with the first touchdown. First touchdown was a um, 40 some odd play to Hollywood Brown. I'll let it run before I talk about it a little bit. Off to the races. Off to the races. See it from the back. I'm still going to push it back. Off to the race. And I kind of cut that out because we saw it from the. But here we go. So, what you're going to get here is an RPO. You're going to get an RPO. You're going to get an inside zone, well, outside zone look, in some kind of look with, I think this is um, Mark Ingram pushing to the right side, to the bottom of your screen, to the right side of your screen. And uh, these linebackers, watch, because he's going to go with the motion. This, he, this guy right here, he's going with the motion. And so now you're going to be left with this linebacker and this safety kind of walk down a little bit. And when they uh, fake whatever the run is to the right and they bite on it so hard, all Brown has to do now is win inside. Once he wins inside, it's a wrap because the safety's gone with the run. The linebacker that could play the passing lane is gone with the run. Well, this linebacker, the one in the middle, because he's going with motion. So let's watch it. Let's move it along a little bit. Tight end comes in motion. That takes that guy out of the picture. Now, something I didn't notice at first, when he when he goes in motion, watch the corner set inside of Hollywood so he knows he wants to kind of take away the inside, kind of play that leverage because, you know, he's a smart guy. They all paid. They know that when he goes in motion, it creates a void right here. So he's going to get inside and take away uh, inside leverage. Moving inside. You know, he's set up pretty good inside too. But now, Hollywood's match has to win this matchup right here. The play face is going to take care of this guy which is this linebacker right here, and this guy, which is this uh, free safety. I see they've walked down, which which plays even more into the hand. They, the free safety walked down more, and the linebacker walked down more. Hollywood works him out. It's a good job of widening. By, him, by Hollywood widening his route and basically going toward the top of the screen, going toward the outside receiver, it makes the, the DB open up and gives him that room back that the DB tried to take away. Go a little further. Widen him out. Got his hips open. And just beat him inside. Widen him. Get the hips turned. Stick your foot in the ground. He's already lost. At this point right here, you know you're messed up. Let's take a look at the play fake down there, though. Take a look at this linebacker here. I'm circling with my little arrow. And the free safety. Watch what they do on the run fake. Look at him bite hard. Look at him bite hard. Biting real hard on that run fake. Now, the footwork on Lamar, ride it. He don't even he don't even move. He just rides it good. Rides it. Sets his feet. Sets his feet. Look at that. Good throw motion. Look at that. We didn't see things like that last year. He would have rushed his throw. Probably threw it in the dirt or something like that. He got good footwork, good uh, mechanics, and delivers a strike. Low and away. Throws it low and away. Now, the good part is he throws it oh, low and away, but high enough to where he doesn't have to slide for it. That's, that's going to be a big progression with Lamar this year. Throwing balls to these guys so they can do something with it after the catch. You know, last year we were content with him just not, not throwing it in the, in the ground and us getting catches. Now we want him to throw it to a spot where these guys can do something afterwards because we have speed on the team now. Now, with that being said, shuffle his feet. but well, not shuffle his feet. Reset his feet. 
through a, uh, not a strike, but in the strike area. And then at this point, turn on the Jets. Turn on the Jets. Watch the play fake from the back view, though. Again, watch this guy here and watch these two guys lined up. Watch how hard they bite on this play fake. Oh, this is a, uh, yeah, this is Morgan. Watch out, watch how, bad, by how hard they bite on this play fake. Look at them. They gone. If this was a, a a straight run, that still would be a touchdown. Look at the alley we have. If it was a straight run. But it's not, and you got Hollywood coming. Play, fake the cameraman out. And by the time the cameraman paying back, it's lift off. Three, two, one, go. Turn on the Jets. Right, let's move on to play two. Touchdown two. Uh, same two people. Um... Great protection on this play. And I know when I was watching this play during the game, I re I looked at like how long it was taking it to develop. I said, the O-line is doing work on this play. And then by the time I had that thought, the ball was in the air for a long touchdown. So let, let's watch it. And it's one of my favorite plays. One of my favorite plays. Look at that. The last chance was to dive and you missed it. Now, again, I still don't think he's at uh, 100%. I still don't think Hollywood's 100%. I think he's close. I think, he, look at the old line. Look at that work. I know they only rushed three, but, but man, come on now. Give him credit. Give him credit what credit's do. Now, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's go back to the all 22. All 22. Push it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. All right, here we go. So, you got, uh, I don't know who this is. I think this is. I don't know who this is. Hollywood's here, and we got another guy here. You're going to get like a hitch. You're going to get like a curl to bring, to try to uh, free up, the, to not free up, to occupy the safety. And you're going to get a post on top of that. So if this guy bites on the curl or one of those posts or whatever, I mean, I'm sorry, not one of the posts. If he bites on this curl or even this shorter curl, now he has to do, Hollywood has to just beat the corner across the field. So let's, let's look at the safeties. Look at, keep your eyes on both of these safeties during the play. Let's see what they do. There's no play fake. All right. So there's some some sort of uh, cover two shell. I don't, you know, and I don't know what he's doing. Just cover two. You got to make this guy go inside. But anyway, we get a mentor outside release up there. So he now has to widen with that guy. Right here. He This corner sitting in the cover two shell. So he has the flats, which is what he should do. Uh, the receiver goes inside, which, you know, he has no quarrels with that. This guy should get hands on, on Hollywood. This guy should. I don't know if, I don't think he does or not. So now, what Hollywood does is run, you know, right at the outside leverage of the safety, then cross his face. At this point right here, Lamar Lowe's is if he if he makes a good accurate throw, it's a touchdown. Because look at this void. I don't know if you can see the arrow. Look at this void in the middle of the field. At this point right now, all he has to do is is just hope hope for hope protection holds up, because he know he got it. The only thing I would have done different if I was Hollywood was widen on this route. So I started running right at the, the safety. I would have widened him to the bottom of the numbers, then stuck my foot and crossed him. But he did he did a good job, did a good job of getting that hand off of him. Because he tried to grab me, which threw him off a little bit, and now it's over with. Because this guy, he has to, you know, stay up here with, I think this Borkin. He has to stay up here with him. And now this just free open field for Lamar just gotta make a good throw. You don't even have to be a dime, you just gotta make a good throw. Catches it on the 43. And Lamar standing on the what? Eight? No, standing on the seven. Standing on the seven. So that's approximately a 50-yard throw. In stride. And again, I'm going to stress guys catching the ball and being able to run after the catch. That's going to be huge. That's going to be huge. Throwing on time, throwing catchable balls. Through the protection. And I know they only rush three. But still, look. Clean feet, clean feet, clean feet, clean feet. Dying, dying. Matter of fact, watch, watch. Just he don't even break stride. He gets enough air on it where Hollywood can adjust while he's in the air, and he never had to stop running. Boom. Touchdown number two. So let's go to number three right here. This one is a 33-yard pass to Willie Snead, and I think this was the best throw. I really do. You know, argue with me in the chat box if you want or debate with me or agree with me. I think this is the best throw. As a matter of fact, once we finish and once you finish watching this, 
put in the chat box which touchdown throw you think was the best. And that way we can have a little poll going on. All right? So let's watch it. Sneeze in the slot right here. May highlight it, may spot shot it, may, may not. Now, oh, let me play it. See, I don't want to talk about it so fast. Let's let me play it through. Let me play it through. Another post, dime. Another lip seam post type route, dime. Look at protection. They're rushing, rushing five. So it's mono y mono. They rushing five, we blocking five. It's mono y mono. Good job up front. Good job. Good job up front. Mono, they try a little stunt right here. Who is that? Is that thing that yonder? They pass it off. He kind of half stunts anyway. Pass it off, but we still got it if he come. Bozeman gets beat a little bit late. Got to work. Got to work his feet. Got to work his feet. Got to work. His, can't overextend. Slide your feet. Slide your feet, Bozeman. Slide your feet. Keep sliding your feet like you're doing right here. Good slide. Good slide. Now just keep sliding. Don't turn. Don't reach. Don't turn. Don't reach. Just keep sliding. But anyway, pretty decent protection. Get a little heat late. Look what the place on this ball. Right over the DB's head. Right in the hand. Right there. Great placement of the ball. Great placement of the ball. Boom. Boom. Great placement. Great placement. Let's, let's go back. So I'll tell you what I was so anxious to tell you about. Remember the last play I said if I was Hollywood, I'd have, I would have widened my guy out, then ran inside of him. This is what Willis Need does right here. He's going to widen him out, push him toward the bottom of the number. Then cut across his face and and just outrun it. Right that that last little stick right there. See how he about to stick him outside? Look how he got the DB turn. That's that's awesome right there. That is oh he set him up, got him thinking he going outside, so now he's in turn and run mode and watch him cross his face. Boop. Got it. I mean it's a good throw. And we got one. Simple football, but simple football. Widen the guy out, give yourself more room. Run to the uh, post. Run to the post. And a good throw. That's touchdown number three. Let's go to touchdown number four, which is <laughs> it's pretty crazy. But let's, let me just let, I'm going to just let it go. Just let it go. Got a blitz coming. We picked everybody up but one person. And you, I know y'all saw that guy coming free. It's a reason he's coming free. They're sending more than we can block. That's why he's free. So before they come, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think he's coming. So they got they're sending eight. Or well, they have eight in the box right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So they they're they're sending one more than we can block. Guys walk up in now. Good job of of, of um Communicating. The, whatever the protection was, or however they call it, good job of it. Because everybody goes right to a person right now. There's no indecisiveness right there. And we leave the outermost guy facing the quarterback. There's a reason you want to do that. Because you, you know, if you gotta leave a guy, you want to leave this guy here for two reasons. One, so the quarterback can see him. Two, for the so the quarterback can see him. You don't want to leave a backside guy because you ask for sack fumbles. Maybe your quarterback get hurt. So if you got to leave a guy, you want to leave a guy the quarterback can see. So he can you know, either brace himself, get rid of the ball, or run. All right, so it's a good job protection right here. Lamar started dropping, started dropping, started dropping. Throws it up. Boy, can wide open. Now, why is he wide open? Let me go show you. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. So we get all the 22. All right, so let's keep our eyes on Boykin. Let's keep our eyes on Boykin. Boykin is right here at the top of the screen. Right here at the top. Right behind my head. Right behind, to my, with my right ear, left ear, one of them, right there. So, play a little bit. He has a little slant, which he's covered. He's covered. Not going to do a little scramble drill. So, he's going to reverse out and look like he's going to the pylon. Well, he was running to the pylon, but looking back at Lamar, Lamar says, no, I'll go somewhere else. And he's able to adjust because the DB is in trail mode. He's able to adjust, run the slant, see it's not going to work. Okay, let me do. Let me start scramble drill because my quarterback going this way, and Lamar just being headed, knowing he got a big receiver, just throws it up. 
throws it in the opposite direction to run the, the DB's looking, which is good. That's that's great football IQ. This you can't coach this. You just gotta have it. Either you have it or you don't. You have it or you don't. Good football like you. And this this is like playing Saint Law football. Knowing the guy ain't looking, throwing it the other way, knowing your guy can go get it. Does a good job of just throwing it up and let boy can adjust. Because the DB's in trail mode. Playing man, he gotta keep his eyes on him. Then he get in trail mode because he because they in scramble drill. He's trying to hurry him get to this corner because and if you know what? If I'm the DB, I'm 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 kind of terrified too because this dude done pivoted on me and he got all this room to work. So I'm gonna bust my butt to try to get him and prevent him from throwing it to this pylon. So that's what the DB did. And it didn't go that way. We out we outsmarted him. Outsmarted him. That's touchdown number four for the running back. Again, it's good protection, good protection. Come on, move it along, move it along. Move it along. Nothing to see here but the fourth touchdown of the day. Nothing to see here. All right, and the last touchdown of the day, simple. A little heavy, goal line type situation. And um, I think we're going to fake power. I think we're going to fake power and dump it off. Yep, fake power. Dump it off to your D tackle. <laughs> going to fake power and dump it off to your D tackle. So, if this was power, um, Rashad would come out and kick kick out this end guy, whoever this end guy is, and the running back would follow him and just hit it right up in here. So, now, what you got a tight end going to the back back corner. You got uh, Ricard going to the front front line. So, that's what they're running. This guy's working to the back corner of the end zone. This guy's working to the front corner. So, he going to the back pylon. He going to the front pylon. And the running back now has to block number 90 because he's getting the play action, which is what happens. He tries to cut him. I think that's Ingram. Uh, is that Ingram? I can't tell. Yes, Ingram tries to cut him. And um, those are nice little passes record, and he catches it. He catches it. Andrew should be deeper because now you kind of see where this dude is kind of playing in the middle. Andrew should be back here by this this green spot in the by the NFL logo. He should be he should be down here. That way, it creates space. But anyway. He's open right now. Lamar gets it to him. Those are, those are pretty good ball. Car catches it, gets in the end zone. We got five touchdowns from a guy that's supposed to be a running back, the experts say. Trial that receiver, they said at the combine. Year two, the guy went to work on his mechanics. And if week one is ending, any indication of what we're going to get for the rest of the year, Raven fans, we're in good hands. If week one is any indication of what we're going to get the rest of the year, and I know all the games ain't going to be 59 to 10 or whatever they had, but improve footwork, improve mechanics, improve accuracy on top of the run game that we already have. And I still think this game, we were very vanilla in what we did because it was a blowout. So he didn't pull, have to pull out his bells and whistles so far. So again, is this your first time here? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like, hit the like button, and also comment. And again, if you don't have your Ravens Roundup merchandise, go to teespring.com. That'll be in the description also. And this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you being here. Um, Ravens Roundup, week one, Lamar Jackson's five touchdown. We out. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film, then More Film, or Fruit, Tomatoes, and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your Afterly shirt. For all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans and I appreciate you. Salute.